The classroom exercises are to develop and to work on the strokes and getting a nice smooth touch on the instrument. The first exercise is called double stops, working on striking the instrument at precisely the same time with both mallets and full strokes. The difference between a flam and a double stop. Double stops hit at precisely the same time. A flam is created when one mallet is higher than the other. The skill exercise, as written in the book, is kind of a standard for percussionists. Starts on the root, goes up to the fifth. Starts at the root, goes up to the ninth. Halfway down to the fifth, and then all the way up and down. This creates a nice even flow of sixteenths, and students get really accustomed uh, to the flow and pattern, and they get a little bit of muscle memory on the scales. Chromatic skills are important because it teaches the striking area on every single note chromatically, both on the naturals and the sharps and the flats. Very, very important, also develops a lot of coordination, um, a lot of speed, very, very good exercise, chromatic skills. When playing a scale, whether it be one octave or two octave, it's important for a student to stand right in the middle. If a student stands where he or she begins a scale and then proceeds upward, they're going to be reaching across their body as they play the scale. By standing right in between, a student can lean to one side, begin the scale, ascend up two octaves, and go all the way down. If a student has to move, their feet and reposition their body, they should do so by shuffling their feet left and right rather than stepping in front of themselves. Let's talk for a moment about basic four mallet technique. More and more often percussion ensemble and concert band literature is calling for four mallet technique to be performed on a variety of percussion instruments. There are many different techniques, and the one that we're going to demonstrate here is the easiest to teach and the easiest to pick up. Take the outside two mallets and cross them over the inside two mallets, creating a V. Taking your index finger, putting it through the space created. Wrapping fingers around creates the basic four mallet grip. Other hand does the same, and there you have your basic grip.